We're Brad and Shyla. Over the past few months, we have been self-converting our Ram ProMaster van. Join us as we test out our new home and experience our first trip of van life. Let's see if Brad can get us out because I kind of got us stuck. Welcome to Trippin' with Brad and Shyla. Here's our first wild camping spot. And Shyla getting ready to go play in the river that's right over there. We came down this steep grade, but you can't tell on camera, of course. How was your first night in the van? It's good. It was good. It was so quiet. Where are we at? We made it to Crater Lake! <laughs> and I can hear Cannoli barking from the van. <laughs> or something. Really? Mm -hmm. I wonder if Ethan Pay used to be there. It's pretty crazy. We're at the beach. We made it to Sunset Beach. It's party time. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh my God. The current state of our van. Kind of a mess. We're living in it under construction. <laughs> okay, so we decided to leave the beach for some... Gelato! <laughs> so I don't know where we're going. It's like the seaside gelato, sea star gelato, something. We'll uh, let you know how it is when we get done with this. Cake. Mm -hmm. Worth it, delicious. Best decision. It's pretty cool out here, but it's still melty. That's my favorite consistency, though. Mm -hmm. 
or this or that. Hmm, I got such a big one. Good morning. So we just went to Safeway and used the facilities and got some coffee. And now we are at a disc golf course and we're gonna go disc golfing. Well, we're gonna attempt to go disc golfing. I am, Brad disc golfs. <laughs> and then, yeah, see, maybe go to the beach again. Last night was pretty chill. We had a fire on the beach and watched the sunset. Come on, Kanoli, Sophia. Yeah, I'm not good at disc golf, for those of you who are wondering. It's not really my thing, but, you know, sometimes we do things we're not the best at for the ones we love. Oh, so bad. <laughs> uh, I heard it. So we want to tell you one of our stories of our I guess right before we started, the day before we started van life. Yeah. We go to a store called West Marine, um, and it's parking the lot, everything's fine. It's about 9 a.m. in the morning. Uh, before we go into West Marine, there is a store right next to it, which I wanted to go into first. Uh, so we tried to go into that store, but it was closed. So we turn around and start walking to West Marine. To 20 feet away from the front door of West Marine, <laughs> there was a gentleman or a guy uh, that had locked eyes with us and was yelling stuff at us and uh, as soon as he approached us he came up and shoved me <laughs> and we don't know why we don't know the guy obviously but kind of startling and uh, yeah he wanted to fight but yeah, I was wasn't just... I wasn't into it I had just gotten off work and I was tired and it was our last day to build the van before we moved in <laughs> so I wasn't really in the mood to deal with something like that but uh, yeah, so he was yelling at us, telling us he would kill us, and uh, there was a mark on our head, and uh, all sorts of just horrible things. Shoved me a couple times, I pushed him off me, said he was gonna hit you, kill you, yeah. horrible names. We're in the store at this point, we're in the doorway, and the guy is right outside the doorway, and he's still yelling at us. So I, um, attempt to call the police uh, meanwhile Brad is goes in and talks to the cashier and said hey can you call security because we were in a shopping center and normally there's like some sort of security that patrols uh, but the lady just ignored us and continued cleaning her station didn't didn't pay attention at all didn't call security I called 911 and they hung up on me and then I called back and I waited on the phone for like two minutes um, and then finally they answered and I are in the store away from that guy. We have no idea where he is. I think he ran off. Uh, we do our shopping. We're in the store for maybe 10 minutes or so and we come out and there's no cops. They never showed up. The universe testing us, you know, 2020 is not easy for anyone, but it feels like the past two months have just been exceptionally brutal for us. Yeah. But, you know, we're here. <laughs> okay, so we just finished disc golf. Uh, it's a quick nine rounds, but it was it was pretty nice. It's nice to get out after a few months of not doing it. It's been a long quarantine of not playing disc golf, so it's pretty awesome, pretty great. Um, yeah, we're trying to find public showers now, so Shyla's overlooking to see if these are open. We're not sure, we saw them on iOverlander, so uh, yeah, we'll pick you back up and let you know if we got clean or if we're still sandy and dirty. All right. But they're not like open right now due to COVID. Ugh, sad. Just hanging out in 
enjoying our beachfront property, as I'm sure you can see. get us out because I kind of got us stuck and also the tide came in like an extreme amount and is really close to us so I'll show you so the tide is coming in right there and we're right here Another beach, still in Seaside, but uh, one that we don't have to drive up on. So we're just hanging out. This is the setup. Brad and the dogs. We're gonna have a fire later on the beach. This is what it looks like. before we leave to go back to Portland. Um, so we're gonna go back to the drive, drive up beach and just like drink our coffee, chill out, and yeah, enjoy the last 